Hey, Neil Battaglia here. I run the website saxstation.com. We can go to ask some questions about the saxophone, read some things, see some videos and lessons, and check out some classes that I've put together on different topics. All right, I got a question the other day about finding some sheet music for the song by Big J McNeely. And this guy named Bob was saying, looking for tenor sax mu sheet music for There Is Something on your mind by big j mcneely i said it might exist i'm not sure i haven't actually seen it myself but maybe it's out there somewhere and i said you might have to learn it from the recording that's how you can learn anything you want so if you get the skill of learning music by ear you can learn anything you hear it's an extremely useful skill to have something i recommend all musicians do it's good to read also but you want to learn some music by ear so you can play things you hear that gives you access to so much more music um, it's really something you should do so I said uh, it might exist I'm not sure you might have to learn from the recording and he said my hearing is not what it used to be so that may not work for me and then I said how much music have you learned by ear and he said zero so I told him that the problem isn't that his hearing isn't good it's that he's never done something before he hasn't developed a skill so yeah maybe his hearing's not as good as it used to be maybe he's older than me i'm not sure but the problem isn't that his hearing isn't good it's that he's never done something if i said i wasn't good at basketball and i've never played basketball the reason is partly because i've never played basketball um you have to do something to get better at it you have to try something to get a skill yeah so basically, I would recommend starting to learn music by ear if you haven't already. Keep doing it if you haven't. Challenge yourself when you're learning music by ear. You always want to challenge yourself. That's how you get better. You can play things that you enjoy. Those are fun. You should do that. You should, you should enjoy playing music, but you should also challenge your, yourself when you're playing. That's how you improve. And when you get better, the music gets more fun, in my opinion. So yeah, don't, don't make excuses. <laughs> People also can practice making excuses, and they do all the time. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people. You can get good at making excuses. So, like with playing music by ear, this guy made the excuse his hearing is not as good, but that's not really the main reason. That might be true, but it's not the reason he's not learning music by ear. It's because he's never done it. You need to try first. On Saxation, I have some different lessons, and a few of them actually have the video, and I've got like notes listed down below. So basically, it doesn't make it really hard to see the notes, but you do have to scroll your mouse or scroll with your finger on a phone or something. So basically, I'm trying to get you to figure it out by ear and checking if you need to. That's, that's how you do it. So you see the first note, you can see the second note. You maybe listen again, you play those two notes, you try and play the third note yourself, you see, see if it sounds right. After that, you could check the next one if you really want to. You can scroll down the entire page if you want to, but my recommendation is you try and listen, look if you need to, listen some more, go back a few times. And that's part of what you do with learning music by ear, is you listen more than once. Once you've developed a skill, you might hear something and you might be able to play it immediately. And sometimes you even just get lucky. You play something and it happens to be right. So you develop the skill and you'll start doing that more and more as you get better at learning music by ear you'll start playing what's right immediately other times it'll be trickier you'll have to listen more times you have to repeat it if you get software where you can repeat a little section like a b repeat that can be really useful i use transcribe i've used uh, the amazing slow downer on the phone you can loop something uh, what's a little bit funny about that is I, I heard about that one probably a while ago, but then I heard about Bob Reynolds using it and he was saying how he never slows anything down with it. He just loops it because looping is really useful. You can hear like even like three seconds. You can hear that little section. And if it's a bunch of notes, if it's really fast, three seconds might actually be kind of a complicated little idea. But yeah, looping something and listening again, that's, that's how you work on this. It's a skill you develop. I've got a couple of classes on learning music by ear. One of them is more challenging. One of them is like you start with another song that might be a little more, be a little bit easier to start with. And within Saxophone Tribe, I have some different different lessons you can do with ear training. But yeah, start start doing it. It's a skill you develop it. It's like you won't get stronger at the gym by not exercising. 
you get stronger by doing the exercise. You get better at learning music by ear by learning music by ear. And you don't start with the hardest thing. You don't start with a Coltrane solo or a Brecker solo or something like that. You can start with a simple melody. On sax station, I've got the melody taps. So it's got three notes. And I tell you what notes they are. I don't tell the order. I just tell you what they are. So you just kind of, you can figure it out. And you, if you're just guessing what the notes are, you kind of listen, see what it sounds like. And you have a pretty high chance of getting the next note, even if you guess. But yeah, you start to guess better. You start to de develop the skill if you keep doing it.